Good afternoon everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, I don't know what's going to happen with this video I'm not even sure what the title is going to be so you'll see it when, when, whenever you turn the video on but I, I wanted to show this knife this is a, a new acquisition this is a GEC number 15 boys knife in red linen micarta with the long pull and the most beautiful clip that GEC seem to do every time. Just this swedge at the end really makes the clip. I just love it. Really do. It's perfection. It's just GEC as usual. Perfect, perfect blade centering. There we go. She's right up the middle. Absolutely gorgeous. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. I've nothing I can say. A lovely pull on it. It's about a seven pull. Um, six or seven. Um, but a really, really beautiful knife. And I traded another clip point. I traded my um, uh, bone handled one. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't over keen on the bone, so it was nice that when I seen this, I traded with a boy on Instagram, and I absolutely just love the red linen my carta. It's another colour I didn't have, and uh, I'm pleased to have in my collection. But I'd actually got these all out last night because I've changed a few things. I've I've traded about two and I've bought three since the last time I done a full video. And I, I was sitting just looking at them last night, and I was looking at the differences you can get within the GEC itself. I mean, you know you've got the Sodbuster series, their work, their farm and field, which is the more they're working knives, the do pruners and sodbusters and things like that. I'm not into that. That's not really what I want in GEC. I have plenty of other knives in that category. I don't feel that I need a working knife. I like I mean these are GEC are what I call my pen knives. Because that's what they are, pen knives, but um I had this one, as you maybe know, this is in green linen micarta. This is another boy's knife with a spear point or pen blade, whichever you, you want to call that. But the differences, even in this in this category, you can see most titty utes come with a nail neck. But this one has a long pull, which is lovely because I, I really do like the long pull, but it's usually the more expensive ones that have the long pull. The Northfield, this is Tiddy Ute, and Northfield is the more expensive models where you get more bells and whistles. But I just thought it was lovely to have the long pull in this one. They've done this one in, this was in 2018. 2018, I think these were both 2018, but they've done a nail neck and a long pull, which I love. And, and I, I really am pleased. That's, I don't need any more number 15s now. That's the two that I've got. So I was sitting thinking, for maybe somebody who, who doesn't know too much about GEC, but he's interested in getting into them, the differences between a basic GEC model and their more higher end, and I've, I've them laid out from the basic shapes up to the, the more modern. And I sort of started, here's a toothpick. Now this is a beautiful knife in its own right. An absolutely stunning knife. This is the, the Tiddy toothpick. And it's a large toothpick. When I say large, the blade is a full three inches, two and three quarter inch cutting. But a beautiful, beautiful knife, beautiful in hand. Everything about it, this bone is giraffe bone dyed. Just absolutely beautiful. But it is basic. You have the clip. You have just uh, stainless steel nickel silver bolsters. You don't have any rings on the bolsters. The horn here at the end has no rings on it. And then you have something like this, which is a Northfield. And as you can see, it's got ringed bolsters. It's got a, the end cap here is not ringed, but this is ringed. You have the diamond jack pattern on it. You have a nail neck. But you also have the Northfield unexcelled, and this is the new jack, diamond new jack on the blade, the etching on the blade, which a lot of the Northfields have. I'm not sure if some of them don't or not, because I, the more I'm, I'm collecting these, the more I'm finding out the different patterns, and they, they cross they cross dress, some of them, if you know what I mean, and I'll show that later on. But that's the difference where you get that ultra shiny blade compared to the uh to the titty out. this this is much more prepared as a higher end knife if you can see the the difference in the blades 
So both beautiful knives. That neither one or the other would be my favourite because whether it's a a Tidute or the Northfield. So that doesn't make a difference to me. And here's just here's a, another example of differences. These are both number sixty twos, easy open. But this one is the Tidute. This one is also a Tidute, but it has etching on the blade and it has a different shield on it. It is no ring bolsters in either of them because they're Tidute. But this one has an etching on the blade because this is an SFO. This is done for somebody. This is Mike's Knives. This is the bloke up here, the UK dealer for GEC Knives. This is his SFO. So it was lovely to have the two. And I can have this with the etching as a more of a show knife. And I, I've been using this one anyway. This will probably get used as well. I'm easy for saying that I don't use them and then I use them. But it just it's just nice to see the differences. They do differences in all the models. And you'll get the, the, the model shape. This is the Congress shape, but this is only a two-blade model. You get the normal four-blade Congress. So they do mix it up. And that's what's the joy about them. There's such a mixture out there of knives to get. Now, I've got a couple of two-bladed ones. Uh, they both got a, well, one's got a clip, one's got a spear, and they both got pen blades. One's got a very large pen blade, and this one, that's, well, it's not small either, but it's not as big as this one. This is the Tidute, which is the basic. It's got the nail neck and a beautiful bone handle. This is the giraffe bone, or not giraffe bone. This is the, oh, it's gone it's out of my head now. Gone out of my head. Smooth Appaloosa bone, which is beautiful. It's got the Northfield, the beautiful nail neck long pull, which is just gorgeous. Again, the difference, the big difference is the shiny blade. You can see the difference looking back at you here. And the shiny bolsters, really ring bolsters, top and bottom, uh, and a, a beautiful shield shield. Um so that's the difference is that super shiny blade, the long pull, which is on most of the the titty or the Northfield and the clip on a, on a normal one. But both, again, this isn't any better because it's got shiny blades. It's more of a looker. And that is the difference between GEC Tiddy Out and the GEC Northfield. The Northfield are just lookers. They really have that extra little bit that takes them a cut above. But the fit and finish is good on whatever you get from GEC. You very rarely get a blade that's off. The only blade that I've really got that's any way off-centred is one of my favourites. And this was my first GEC. Uh, and this one, if you can see, it's off to the right here. Now, it's not touching. And the fella I bought it off, lovely fella in America who I bought it off, told me that before he sold it to me. And so there was no price, and he priced it really well for me. So I didn't have to worry. I knew what I was getting, and it's a beautiful. This is my, this is my real user. I really do use this one uh, quite a lot. But the walk and talk on GEC, it, excuse me, the walk and talk is just what makes it for me. And I would often get my knives out like this and just sit and have a look at my knives and just play with them. I'm sure everybody else does. I know it's a bit showy-offy, but I really don't mind because that's what they're there for. I mean, that's why I buy them so that I can admire them. Here again, here's another option. These are number 14s. This is the Tom's Choice, which is an SFO, which is why it's got an engraving on the blade. It's got a ring bolster. It's got the initials on there, Tom's Choice, in uh, hardwood. I think it's African hardwood, but I wouldn't be over sure. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, sandbar stag. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a two-bladed one. Again, there's a pen blade in there. But they both got long pulls and they both got twedges. But again, if you see the blade difference on the north field is it's ultra shiny. Really made up on that beautiful end cap here as well. So a tidute and a north field. But there's not much judge. I mean, this is a rarer bird to find and get hold of because Charlie doesn't make too many of these. Uh, and when they're out, they're just sold and they're so hard to get and so expensive in the second hand market, let me tell you. But two beautiful knives, not much difference, only the blade and a ring bolster. But this makes up for it with the Barlow bolster and the TC in it, which is just stunning. I absolutely love that knife. 
So I hope that was a little bit interesting for those that that haven't been around GEC too often. GEC do mix and match, but the North Field, which is these three up at the end, they are the classier ones. If you want to buy a knife that you really do want to use, I would say stick with the GEC. One, they're cheaper. Now, not a whole lot cheaper, but they're, they're a bit cheaper. And this is what I would call the show end. These last three here, well, and this one, because this is very special. But this is my show end um, that I tend, I haven't used that much. I was going to use this one, but I haven't used it that much. I've carried this a few times. But I do carry them. Let's, let's be honest, I do put them in my pocket and carry them, but I tend to use another knife that'll have in my pocket. But I just love them, and I love just every now and then, especially when I've traded a few and changed up. There's three different from my last overall. There's one extra. I only had 10 the last time. I'm up to 11 now, which is just scary when you look at the price that you paid for the knives, how much is lying on this table. And that's not a showy off thing. I mean, this is this is my money that I've put into these, and I just adore them. So for anybody who's done me trades recently, really happy with them. I hope you're happy with what you got. I just love them. Uh, don't forget now, Mike's Knives, who's up there. That's his telephone number. You can get his SFO £10 off if you mention Paddy when you're buying from him. Um, you can use that telephone number to contact him during the UK or Europe. And uh, you get £10 off that, which I think is just great. Really nice of him to do that. There we go. Short, sweet, little recap on my collection of GECs, but just telling you a few of the wee things that to look out for and things that you can look out for when you're when you're buying. So this is probably about the same price as this, but it's got the long pull. Now it's not got the nail nick, it's just got a long pull, which is lovely. So there you go. Take care everybody, and thank you very much for watching. Another video up soon. Bye now, cup of tea time.